Good morning to each and every one of you, and thanks for joining me for a song and a Bible reading this morning. It's such a pleasure to do this and spend time with you, even though we're maybe miles apart in the spirit. We are brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, and one member of another. So, last night at our gospel singing and prayer meeting, this song was brought up. It's one our family has done, of course. You, you can hear it online if you search for it on YouTube or Facebook. But it was such a blessing. And we're realizing that more and more in these dark times, we need to be hidden in that blessed rock of ages. So someone suggested this song, Hide Me, Rock of Ages. Oh, thou blessed rock of ages, I am trusting, Lord, in Thee. Keep me till my journey's ended, till Thy blessed face I see. Hide me, O blessed rock of ages, hide me till Thy blessed face I see When the storm around me rages Blessed rock of ages Hide thou me Keep me when the storm clouds gather Till the sun comes shining through Keep me till my work is over Till I bid this world adieu Hide me, O oh blessed rock of ages Hide me till Thy blessed face I see When the storm around me rages Blessed rock of ages Hide thou me When my journey is completed And there's no more work to Savior, guide my weary spirit to that happy land beyond the blue. Hide me, O oh blessed rock of ages, hide me till thy blessed face I see. When the storm around me rages. Blessed rock of ages, hide thou me. When the storm around me rages. Blessed rock of ages, hide thou me. Amen. Oh. The times are very turbulent right now, as you may have noticed. There's many things going on, not only in world events, wars, rumors of wars, um, catastrophic events such as earthquakes, famines, hurricanes, drought, all these things are coming upon the earth. But it's not only that, it's also that Satan knowing his time is coming to an end, is full force attacking those who love and look for the Lord's appearing. And so the storm is within and the storm is without. And so we need that blessed rock of ages to just hide us under the cover of his wings. We need that more and more. And you really, you know, it, it's not about 
him wanting to do it or not. He wants to. We need to find ourselves. We need to put ourselves under his protection, under his covering. Yeah. So that's my encouragement to you today. Find that hiding place in him. We are reading in Psalm 71 today. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray that if there is anyone out there today that doesn't know how to find that hiding place or find themselves under that blessed rock of ages, I pray that you would just indicate to them how to do that, Lord. And I pray that each one would find shelter in you during these dark times. Your word is a light into our path. And Lord, we just pray that today it would lead us and guide us by your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 71, in thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thine ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Huh. That's kind of connecting with the song we, we sang. Oh, wonderful. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the righteous, unrighteous, and cruel man. For thou art my hope, O Lord God, thou art my trust from my youth. By thee have I been holden up from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall continually, shall be continually of thee. I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. Cast me not off in the time of old age. Forsaketh me, forsake me not when my strength faileth. You know, I, I realize that there are many that are watching that are dealing with old age and the struggles that come with that. Um, and my heart goes out to you because you, can, you, you can't do things the way you once did. Maybe you can't even think the way you once did. But I want to let you know that your ministry in Christ has not shrunk. It has actually grown. There is, there is the Lord who has blessed you in spirit. And I want you to be encouraged that you are in no way set aside and we'll, we'll pray for you. We pray for healing. We pray for restoration of whatever it is. And I would also like to pray that the Lord would just encourage you in what you have to give to those round about you and to the Lord. So don't, don't be discouraged. Um, it, you're going through a tough time, I know. But know that you are important and valued and necessary members of the body of Christ. Verse 10. For mine enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him. Persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me. O oh my God, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. There you go. That's our directive, no matter how we're feeling. I will hope continually and praise thee. 15. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. O God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Now also 
When I am old and gray-headed, O God, forsake me not, until I have shown thy strength unto this generation, and thy power to every one that is to come. Thy righteousness also, O God, is very high. Who has done great things? O God, who is like unto thee? Thou, which has shown me great and sore troubles, shall quicken me again and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. I will praise thee with the psaltery. Even thy truth, O my God, unto thee will I sing with the harp, O thou Holy One of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto thee in my soul, which thou hast redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded, excuse me, for they are brought unto shame that seek my hurt. Oh, what wonderful advice, admonition, not only to all of us, but to many that are going through real struggles as they get to their elderly years. And the Lord has not cast you off. Just continually honor Him in everything that you do. And He will bless what you are able to do. Amen. We need you. We need your prayers. We need your support. As those of us who are a little bit younger and our children. And the entire body of Christ is necessary in order for us to go on. Did you know? That we're going to enter in together. Yeah. It's true. We're not leaving anyone behind. So, we look to him. The author and finisher of our faith. And we look to each and every member of the body of Christ to fulfill what God has given them to do. And so you older ones, you still have a job to do. Still important. More important than ever, perhaps. All right? Thanks for joining me. Um, let's see. It's, it's just been really busy. Much, much to do and got to get going today as well. So Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow morning for another song and Bible reading. All right. Find yourself under that blessed rock of ages.